Okay, I'm playing back the market on the British pound on a 15-minute chart using the grid machine. So the grid machine is making uh, pretty decent money on the 15-minute chart, which is pretty rare because it seems like a lot of these robots, if you let them chew on the 15, they kind of gag and they just crash and burn. And this one will too if you don't um, babysit this robot in some way. But letting this thing go at its own device, and I don't think it has any sophisticated uh, money management tools, but I'm just going to call out the trades that I'd be doing and then see how closely the grid machine is doing my style, which is pretty much uh, contrarian. Um, if you think it's going up, um, I'm probably going to be selling it if I can do that trade. So right here, I'd have a hard time selling this right now, the 15. Let's speed it up. Like selling that right now, and this is the European session, this blue. And as, soon as, as it comes up here, um, I probably would just lay a grid of my tickets up there. Where the grid machine is going to get in like 13K short, then it's going to go 26K, then it looks like it's going to go um, 40 8k short it's just going to keep doing like that until it gets to maybe 180k which that's a pretty safe i think um you know if you get in a car that's got uh suspension that uh, is not racetrack you know it's like your average suspension kind of what they call the mean average or the uh you know kind of the average the standard deviation i think i like that one can you imagine that's going to be the new uh, thing when you go in now? I, I'm on bipolar um, with five standard deviations of bipolar. Yeah, we actually, my, you want to see my polar pattern? You ever seen like a cardio mic? That's that's my pull. I'm like a baseball bat. I'm just going to beat the hell out of you. So the market's uh, same same situation, right? It's going to do the same thing. Look at this pullback here. Right at the 15, look at this thing. The 15-minute chart is probably the best chart if you don't mind trading every hour and 15 minutes. But you got to get on, you got to kind of get in, get out. Or are you going to use it to just verify that, oh, that's just a fucking amazing entry there. Like, look at this uh, perfect, you know, this doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it, it can hardly resist. It's like kind of porn. It's like candle porn. <laughs> Look at that fucking a. So a uh, TikTok loop. But this fucking can't. How can you deny this cute little um, hammer below this Asian floor? It doesn't get any better than when it comes to trap trading. Like, oh, I'm just. Oh, really? It's gonna break out? Oh, yeah, dude, it's gonna break down. You know, once it takes this resistance the support out, she's going to... See, it broke out. I love that trade. It's so cute. People do that trade. Dude, I just castled. I just put my thing in there. You're done. So I'm buying this. I'm buying, like, all this shit here. Now, depending on the size of the account, how much can I afford to load up into this? And preferably, I'm going to buy, you know, a one, two, three, four. You know, by here is uh, maybe two standard lots here. It's going to be... I'm just going to get in linear... Because I'm also going to buy at the market if it closes down there. So I'll take the candlestick trade. Is it the market? I have to babysit it. But if I'm just going to go to sleep and put a bunch of fucking tickets here. Now, it's not going to be. Um, is I mean, the ratio is amazing, right? Which means you'd have to have a ticket just for the situation. It's like a guy that picks locks. Like, how deep is the fucking. Like, right, you, what do you allow? Seven notches on your key. Well, it's just that. You're going to fucking, you need all that shit, all those tumblers to make money. I don't know how these people are doing these trades. Oh, yeah, dude, I get in here and I get, really? You t you took that, how much, how fucking big were you in on this trade? And how many times do you do that a day? And like, I just, you're fucking nuts. I, or I'm just too lazy. Like I'm sitting there, oh, it's Europe, okay. This is like, dude, this is fucking like um, 2.30 in the morning. 3 o'clock in the morning. Who's up at 3 o'clock in the morning? In the United States. You know, so this is the issue with the United States trying to make, uh, do this trade. Oh, fuck, you missed it. Well, you just have to have the, 
you, you know, you get, now on the sell side, you put a sell up here. Okay, you made money on the scalp here, right? You came back almost to here, but you have to have those 5 pip, 8 pip, 12 pip, 14 pip winners. Got to trade really big on that. High probability trade. Picked off this top, right? Picked off that top. You got that skill. Then it hammered out. Perfect trend entry. But if you're there, you could jump on this and go, oh, yeah, we're not done. You look left and we're not done. There's so much space behind us. Now it's coming off the top. Like I said, I, I'm not good at selling that, but that was a sell, this cute hammer. Speed it up a little bit. Get us through the uh, log jam here. But, you know, this stuff's coming out. It's, it's funny, the ICT guy talks about this shit. And I'm like, dude, you got to have an arsenal of shit in your pocket. You got to be able to sell here a standard lot, scalp here, and go, I'm out. Okay, I'm still holding another standard lot. And then what? For me, I'd be like, dude, let's just put some buy limits in here, walk away. I'm fucking, I ain't chasing this shit. I'm not playing with that shit. So I'm playing like a game that's. 50 pip window entries. I don't know where the fuck it's going to turn around. Do you? Do you think it's really? Do you think it couldn't have taken out this floor before it then a rejected price and went the other way? You fucking don't know that. And even if you like, so if you uh, you know like, the bigger you trade on this, if you're going to do a dollar, I, I only trade a thousand dollars risk per trade. So I just do the math until I get to my stop. Okay, you just got to fucking stop here, a $1,000 stop. If they just nick the fucking wick, oh, I should have put a $1,200 stop and I could have made fucking ten grand. Are you nuts? I, I mean, who's doing these trades? Well, we're, there's a, you know, and even if you had a, a, a $10 million account, are you going to fuck around with a trade like that? Like, you got $10 million in your account. Don't you want to be in the market for at least four hours, not five? You, you know, they fucking tick chart. Oh, boom, go ahead. But this is the option trader. You can see the option. I don't know how it got. I went for a search for videos, and this op, binary option thing's back in the in the market. Yeah, I got it. The thing's worth 40 cents. Now it's worth $40 million in 40 million milliseconds. But I, I, how many times did that trade come up for you? <laughs> All right, so I would have scalped there on the 15. Look at that shave camel on the 15. These markets are fucking rigged. I'm playing back every tick on the British pound. I'm doing the best I can. Let's go back. Don't let me erase all this fucking nonsense in here. So let's speed it up again. We got plenty of fucking throttle left. We can go to 31 on this, 32. We'll take it up to 31. Just below the fastest shit. Okay, just put it on trade. Let's hope it's sold. Okay, so we're going to watch the performance of this thing. So that's not a bad place to sell. But I would have been short on a bunch of tickets, you know. Definitely would have scalped something off this top. I feel like this is quite the nice, beautiful ABC pullback. One, two, three. Let me just verify by watching the line chart. Instant verification, just switch to the trusty line chart. There you go. Look at this, almost the top become a bottom right here. Right there on that. Um, if you turn on the wicks, I bet you could have got a top bottom on that. See, just on the just on the tip of the wick, but not on the uh, line chart. So that's, if you're sitting in front of your monitor here on the 15, you know, these are kind of easy... So this is a triangle foreman. I see them triangles. Look out for them triangles. Now, it doesn't mean you can't wick it down to here before it goes up here, and that's just how it is. And you notice if it, it, the tick chart looks just like this line chart. It's just a giant tick chart. When people start to do tick bars, I said, that's a problem. Now you just distorted time. How are you going to count it out? I, I still need to turn on the candles or turn on the bars to count the time periods. So the other thing I like to uh, flash cards here is to go to the, the, the bar chart, just the good old breakout, right? Small bar breakout. This is the old-fashioned trading, you know. Remember this kind of trading? Back when men were men. Just put a buy, stop, sell, stop. Okay, we just breaks out, get out, take profit. Oh, buy, stop, sell, stop. You got trapped on this one. Buy, stop, sell, stop. Perfect breakout. 
clean trade. Oh, that's all I'd trade all day. A little chopped up here, but look at this one. Buy stop, sell stop on the 15th. But see, a robot like that, look at the spread. Three. You're not going to make fuck. You get, here's where the robot gets chopped. So we're short something here. We're going to add to it. If this keeps going up, now I got my sell limits above here. I'm selling above here. Sell, sell, sell. Here comes U.S. market. Here comes the uh, 8. This is now um, 8 o'clock in the morning. 8 or 9. I think it's 9 o'clock in the morning. Green. So here's U.S. Uh, markets are going to open and... Uh, two more bars, stocks are going to open. So I'm short into that on the ticky top, top tick Tommy short, scalping, selling more and more and more. U.S. markets open, I'm selling, selling. Now I would sell into this. I like that trade. I really like it because I can, I'm already projecting, and this is what I'm going to do with this robot, is once I figure out how to tell the robot, look at, dude, when you see that the code would look something like, dude, if it goes up like, this much you know in other words start laying track up here for me put my cell limits up here and if it's um a smaller thing if this at the end of the day this column is only this big it's going to throw in tighter shallower closer to the market but look at this beautiful scalp off the top is that a no fucking brainer now it's just like this one down here no, no, it's the same. It's it's not really that hard to, and we could have bracketed it here. We could have bracketed the time zone here. We're, it doesn't matter. It's just uh, this demarcation point is just up to you, but it doesn't mean that because if you back test it, you say, well, I made more money when I sold the top of this. Yeah, on that one particular day you did, but that's only because it just happened to fit your stop if you have a hard stop. Unless you have some complicated system that's going to pull the trigger at the market after it figures out what the risk would have been on those fucking zones. Now, I know people are telling me this bullshit. I know a guy that's um, telling me, this is a friend of mine, but uh, I don't think he really knows the market. But he thinks that AI can do all that shit. It can't. Because the market's like a fucking next snowflake. So you tell me this AI shit's going to guess the next snowflake design? You know, I'm so pissed off about the AI. I mean... It, it can't do any worse than humans. Look at this fuck nut running the country. I mean, give me a fucking break, dude. Motherfucker's going to fall down and be a martyr. You're going to die. You're going to die on the job. Well, I'll put, I'll put in my best. This goober fuck running it, the show is like, wow. I'd rather let the grid machine run my life. I hand, all, I hand a steering wheel to the grid machine. So far, it's doing pretty good. Looking short here. Now, I could, now if I was going to babysit the grid machine, I probably would have pulled it off the table when I come out of this floor here. So you see this void forming now. But if you ever want to trade the market, I think you should rehearse it like this because you won't be surprised when you go um, 75 pips underwater here because you decided to sell every 25 pip handle and martingale in here. It's saying like, um, or just you know, scaling in fatter, uh, one, two, three K. You're, you got a six K, you're underwater. Okay, you, scal you could have scalped this one. You could have scalped that one, but you didn't get out that one because I want the whole thing. I'm greedy. I want the whole fucking thing. And if you do back test that, yes, those robots make a fuck of a lot of money and then they blow up. Somebody's got to come and, you know, take you away from the table because the odds are going to be that when you're power trading, that you're going to hit a tree. You're just going to, these guys that race cars, that's what they do. They know they're going to wipe, the, the whole car is going to have to be rebuilt, but they know that going in. You're going to pay so much fucking money, every fucking sticker you can get on that car. And uh, I remember they came out with that uh, F U. Um, F, F you, uh, really thin, ready to die white guy. It was a, it was a coin. It was a crypto coin <laughs> and they put it on the race car and they go, no, NASCAR's like, no, no, too far, too soon. You could joke about that in about 200 days. People just lost their mind, but it is funny. It's like, um, oh, let the kids play with the, the razor blades again. Here, kids. Oh, Johnny got cut. I can't believe it. Man, we're just fucking this up. 
and all that homeschooling is uh, what's going to save us is the fact that when you break this shit apart, it does thin the herd. It does make the sophisticated or, or the clever people rise to the top. And the evil clever people, you know, they, they actually self-destruct. So I'm always an optimist because it seems like you always end up with this, like, oh, we thought it was really bad, and then, whew, thank God, we must have pull it. These motherfuckers. Because they self-implode, you notice? It, it's a circular firing squad because this shit cannot, nature will not withstand that big of a vacuum. The market's no different than the fucking society. You know, the, you know, the, the Elliott Wave, the uh, Bob Prechter, Robert Prechter, he wrote the book about the Elliott Wave, and he put it down as psychological. You know, like the 50s, all these different eras. Okay, this is the, the Roaring Twenties. That's like Wave 3. The consolidation is Wave 4. 80% of the market is consolidation. The biggest wave is Wave 4. You're always in that. So these breakouts and Bitcoin and gold to the top side, wonderful. How is it any different than this British pound on this in this one day in time? God knows what the fuck this is. It's not any different. There's a trade in there. And if you're an investor in Bitcoin and you're like, dude, it just made a higher high. And that's what used to kill me. I just used to blow, blow, want to blow my brains out, so I decided to just make really uh, rant videos about empowered trading with this higher highs, making higher highs, people. What do you think about that? Dude, are you in this fucking trade? What are you doing? Like, are you really going to show people how to trade, or are you just fucking kidding me? It's so funny. You know, it was Jason Greystone and these people still doing the trade. But they're doing hokey trades, and I got it. The fucking grid machine could do his fucking trade. Come on, man. Really? I just thought it was ridiculous. Dude, I get a robot to do what you're fucking doing. You don't need a garlic pattern for that shit. All you're doing is managing a position. And then when it moved, I moved my stop to break even. I never do that shit, dude. I'm sorry, I just can't. I psychologically can't deal with that. I'm, 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 I'm gathering a basket of shit. Like, I'm going to buy 500 Les Pauls, and I'm going to fix them up and sell them. I'm not buying one. Look at this Les Paul I fixed up. Dude, I'll do a series of that. I'd do a fucking batch. And I'd be like, here you go. Anybody want to buy the whole batch and fuck with it? They can resell it. Or I'll just peel them off one at a time. Put some fucking crazy ass fingerboard shit on there. Yeah, crazy glue. Just clear. Loose sight guitars, come on. Honeycomb loose sight. How hard could that be to, to fucking have made up? All right, so it's uh, time to speed it up. I get bored real quick too with the market. Very bad. Gotta find a hobby, you know. Forcing a trade is just the worst it's like uh, raping a girl really i hate to say if she doesn't want you she doesn't want you, you can't you can't make that okay i'm gonna go hyper speed here okay Oof. okay what do you feel like <laughs> are you feeling lucky it's five o'clock so um hey, look at that man i I'm, i wish there was a speed in between that I'm just gonna have to slow it down and see what the fuck I just saw there, because there's a lot that there's a lot to think about there. So if you're gonna sell higher highs, and this is why selling or buying is still always gonna be brutal. This whole area, we got a chance to condense it down here, as it's uh, marching into the future. I guess I'm just too giddy about the chart, so I want to. Look at every every wiggle of it here. Selling um, about so basically, I just set out to say uh, I got a fifty. I got I want a fifty pip window. I want to sell. Let me just sell it. Limits all the way up. Okay. As we crush into that, I'm probably going to sell on the fifteen. 
I put the candles on. So every up candle, really, really bullish up candle, I'm probably going to sell it. If I'm here to see it, I'll do it. Otherwise, I just lay track up here, limits only. And maybe 20% will be at the market. You know, maybe on the four-hour chart, looks like it's going to have a doji. I'm like, okay, doji is time is to get in the fucking market. Because you could probably put a hedge on. And the only problem with the hedge is you're going to, you're going to lose the spread plus a leg of the hedge. Unless it holds the whole fucking thing until it puts on another. And that's the kind of grid trading where it's going to add something to it. It's going to hold it. It's going to build a giant position that's hedged out. And then when it gets to a certain threshold of take profit, it's going to drop maybe the whole leg or a percentage. And that's where it gets very difficult because when you see ICT's video, what he's doing is hodgepodge um, sizing. And it, it was what anybody would do. And he studied with the old trader guys and all that stuff. But there's nothing magical there. It's just about, I think, he should have graduated to just telling the robot, just building a robot that does that shit, and then babysit the robot. Because a fucking robot could do it, trust me. Um, you'd have to uh, babysit it. I mean, it's it's going in for you, but I don't think it can come out for you. This one here, I'd, be, I'd probably, if I'm not in the market now, I'd buy right here after this pullback in the 15. Otherwise... My short strategy of selling into this box for 50 pips and selling more as it goes up, three standard lots at max, never filled the top tick Tommies. So these are the big tickets that never filled. We come back to here, we can cash the whole thing out. Right? We started selling above here. Ultimately, these guys become like break even. You know, just the spread maybe we lose. Let's see what we got. Let's speed it up. Um, so I'd definitely be cashing out. Like I say, be buying that plunge. And Not to mention, depending on how tight you want to do this, you could have bought everything below that and scalped that. In 15 minutes, you're out of that trade. Super big trade. So there's so many fucking trades. But for the swing, or I would say the uh, contrarian thing is sell here, sell more above here, be able to sell for uh, 25, 50 pips. Sell a lot up there. And every super bullish candle, sell. Oh, my God, I'd be like, sell. And then maybe these dojis a little bit sell in this last gasp. So I'm totally in sell mode above this wick. This is the lonely wick. I want to be selling like a whore above that. I can't stand watching these guys do these videos where they're like, well, what I'm going to do is, okay, dude, I'm going to kill it. Like, this is stupid what you're doing. They'd be doing shit like, okay, well, um, I guess on this this breakout on the upside, they'd be like, okay, I'll put a buy stop here. Okay, <laughs> well, there you go, I'm out. Okay, guys, see you later. What the fuck? I don't know. It's just too much fun for me to just be like, dude, let's sell into this bitch. Sell, 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 sell like a motherfucker. Sell again and then like sell everything that you own above this and just go, yeah. And then when it comes flying all the way to fucking back here, you're like, Gee, that was fucking great. Wow. Like every psycho bullish sell, sell the market. A robot could do that. Tell a robot to fucking, every time it's up 40 to 50 pips on the 15th south of the market, how fucking hard can it be to build that robot? If it's harder, if it's, if it, if it's really complicated, then there's no, way, there's no way AI won't work. So, AI, you know, AI is going to work for that. But it's not going to work for fucking looking at, well, fuck, look at gold, dude. <laughs> It's not going to look at gold like you look at gold. It's going to go, dude, this is fucking historical highs in gold. Yeah, but look at everything else. Who gives a fuck? Oh, look at that. It took gold fucking 20. I mean, how long have we had the Federal Reserve? I mean, it finally, it finally got, it should be at $20,000 an ounce, dude. For all the, the belly aching and 
hype over it. Jesus Christ. Come on, man. Yes, twenty five hundred. It goes twenty. Oh, it's up three, dude. It's been it's been from eight hundred to three hundred to eight hundred to two grand to a like a grand. Now it's a big fucking deal. I'd be on this fucking pound making money all day long. I'm waiting for that fucking gold to go to twenty. Ooh, gold. Dude, I got a fucking goiter now. I'm waiting for a gold. I got I got an aneurysm waiting for that fucking thing to get there. What are you kidding me? You just don't have patience, dude. I don't have fuck. All, I don't have to live forever. Fuck off. Anyways, so I just love playing back the market. I can feel the excitement of the 15-minute chart. Yeah, I'd be like, okay, well, here comes the U.S. Now, U.S., there's crazy shit coming here, right? Stocks are going to open right about here. So we could buy here, and we could sell here and just walk away. So if I don't have a trade on yet, always imagine you don't have a trade on when you come up to, or you leave this thing playing back at slow speed and just treat it like real time. You, could, you really want to torture yourself. Just play the fucking market back in real time speed and see how you can handle that shit. I mean, so I wouldn't even, I would just try to imagine that torture. I would never waste the time to do that. It's like people that meditate. I'm like, dude, I got shit to do. Like, I still can't meditate. So call me a meditation <laughs> meditation loser, but I cannot do it. Dude, can we do something? Oh, I'm meditating. And I was watching this. I mean, a lover to death, right? This chick that plays bass for fucking the All Brothers. You know, Jeff Beck's bass player. And I'm like, what the fuck? You meditated? You went to a monastery and wasted four hours a day? Well, listen to her play bass. Eh, she's all right. She ain't fucking meditation good. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, she's cute, and uh, she, you know, can you play more than a Stingray bass? Can't you whip out a fedora? Uh, you got enough money yet? Come on, bitch. I don't know. I'm told I'm a little bit too critical. <laughs> so that's why I'm, that's why I'm on YouTube uh, bitching and moaning. I try to keep the category to the market, though. But seriously, look at this nice uh, scalp here on the 15. If you got a tight spread on this, you're babysitting this. So you can always, I mean, this three pip spread. I'm making this as bad as it can be. Just to really give the robot a, a good lick and to see if it can survive it. All right, go to hyperspace. Now, we, you know, we're short up there. When I we get out of the trade, I get out. So we see we scalped out of that one, right? We sold into the box. Now, let's buy into the. Now, here comes the uh, U.S. markets are open. It's going to get crazy. Let's buy in this box down here. We'll shift our gears. We'll buy everything here, and then we'll really load the wagon like we should always do down here in the bilge. We just fucking donate a lot of fucking tickets to that. But that'll be, probably be um, tomorrow. I don't know if we can make it that far. And even here on the 15, I'd probably be buying that if I thought that was a fake out move, so to speak. So I get a little burst move, burst speed here. Oh, yes. So we're buying that. We are long. We are long. Every 15 minutes it closes, so that's going to be the second 15 possibly closing here, or it's just going to wick into it. We do not know. Oh, geez, I'm not buying again. Oh, buying again. Oh, total fill in limits. Oh, buying a, buying a mint. Buying, oh, thank you very much. So that's the trade. And that's, and if you laid the track in there, it's not as fun as pulling the trigger on that 15. He's giant, but the robot could do that. But I would, you know, and this is a rare thing, and it only happens uh, during the day a couple times, but then there's going to be several robots doing that. It is possible with several robots, maybe eight robots, and each going to take a little chunk window, and it's going to just be that stupid robot that does, does one thing. It has its own magic number, whatever. It's got its own predetermined target, by the way, and it just does that trade. And it's triggered maybe once, uh, twice a week when the U.S. market opens, and it just does that little maneuver. It's looking for this big sell-off here on the 15. So it would have picked up all the hard sell-offs. Here's one. Here's one. Here's one. And then it's dumping. 
selling into that. Very, very specific thing. But it only does that, and it doesn't make that much money here. It's cashing out, right? And if the sell bot's not turned on, I'd probably just leave the buy bot on because if it starts to now sell here, it's like, well, shit, now what? Did it cash out of this? Where's its target at? Like, so if, if it just jumps in here and buys this, the robot is going to buy that. It's a hard down 15 shaved, 15 candle. He's going to buy here. He's going to buy here. He won't, he won't buy this one, but he'll buy only the big ones. So four buys. Two are underwater still. But if the sizing goes up, he buys more. Or you just laid limits. You started here and you put limits in. What's the difference, right? If you're watching it happen, the difference here would be without using all these boxes we got. Take a look at this window. Everything below here, right? So this is the real vacuum. This is the, the stairway. This is the big vacuum. This is where super wagon loader, right? Super wagon loader here because of this. Yeah, this, I mean, everything below here, but it's really about this. See this, this, uh, sh um, wedge here or this uh, pocket that is fucking deep and that is a flash bash into that and then you want to scalp out back into this floor you got to get out of that trade so this 15 minute trading for this for the swing trader you got in here you scalp some of it and you're holding and when it comes back you're going to buy more every 15 down of you buying but I do a blend of it. It's to build a position down here and hold it until you get up here uh, on some of that. Not the whole thing, but buying these pullbacks, right? Buying this um, kind of the last chance to really get picked up on a limit until here. Like if you have a trailing buy limits instead of a trailing stop, so it's a trailing sell stop, this is the argument for the goober. So always be the no-nonsense argument. We'll just put it in your sell stop here and just wait until the market turns around. Why are you always trying to pick the top? Why are you always trying to trade a reversal? Just put your sell stop in here. Okay, Ned. Yeah, this is what I'll do. Like, I fucking got the patience for that shit. Like, what, you think I'm stupid? Well, don't you want to confirm your entry? We're just going to come in willy-nilly. Yeah, I'm going to come in willy-nilly, dude. Now get the fuck out of my way. Yes. I've been selling every fucking new high. It was making higher highs. I know. Tell me about it as I'm cashing out down here, buying lower, you know. I think this is this is a dumb trade, although you can tell me, yeah, all day long. And now if you're if you're Ned, you're going to do it. Oh, well, yeah, I made my pips. Okay, what are you talking about? And the guy that kicked me out of the Discord over there in the fucking no-nonsense is a dude, um, don't be asking questions about, like, did you move your stop? Yeah, where's your stop? That's what's fun. You ask somebody where their stop's at, and they're like, hey, get out of here. What are you talking about? I'm using Fibonacci's my stop. Now, get the fuck out of this fucking uh, trading room discussion. We're here to learn, man. You're just getting in the way now. I know. Fuck off. Okay. <laughs> but, uh. This trade could be over for you. Like, this is the you, you do the same thing. You could be the same guy that does, uh, you know, no offense to the no-nonsense uh, scalper. But I, I'm going to have more trades than he's going to have because I could do this. I could do, uh, which, you know, stop, punk. Here's top tick Tommy. Sell, scalp, top tick Tommy. Sell, scalp. Actually, even my sell here is worth something if I wait for this pullback. Sell new highs here. Cash the whole thing out um, and play the opposite game here, right? Bought that wick, dumped. It's pretty dynamic here. Um, waiting for a 15 minute down to buy. Maybe I'm still holding partial uh, stuff here. So the partial profits thing, as soon as ICT or these people go into the mode, well, I took partial profits. Well, that's why you're fucking making money. Because if you got you know you need to do ten trades a day, you need to do twenty. Oh, I only do. If you have the discipline to only do twenty trades a day, and if they're all losers, you're like, well, I'm done for the day. That's amazing discipline. I don't have that, so I just say, well, I'll just if that account blew up, I'll just put money in and just do it again. And I just keep doing it, and I'm trading like samurai trader. 
and whatever it needs to be because I don't want to put $10 million in an account. I'll put $1,000 in an account. I'm not putting $10 million in an account. Go, yeah, I risk like 2%. Yeah, that's a lot of money. 2% of $10 million is a lot of money. And like I said, if you got $10 million, $40 million, you risk, oh, well, yeah, this is, dude, I, why are you trading? You should just be like uh, getting a massage or something. Get another beer from the fridge. You be careful on that beer. <sighs> and now you got to be worried about this. Now you're still holding this thing. You're like, oh, dude, look, it's coming back. Look, it's coming back. And I would definitely dump the whole fucking thing into the floor where Goober got short. Where No Nonsense got short, this is where I'm going to dump. Think about it. You don't want to be a goober. Isn't that what they say? If you don't, if you're not the, if you don't know who the mark is, you're the mark, whatever. If you don't know who, who the who the guy is getting uh, gang raped, then you don't know who the guy. Is. <laughs> you, then you have no feeling. You're just too numb. Comfortably numb. We'll go to thirty. We'll go to thirty-one. I can tolerate this. This is pretty close to. Uh, <sighs> So that's U.S. And now um, stocks have opened. Uh, the news came out, whatever the fuck here. And um, wow. Crazy town. And at the end of the day, I think um, I'll, be, I'll, I'll be, it depends on all these trades you're in. There is no answer. It's, you have to see. How do you want to be in the market for 45 minutes or 45 days? And a lot of there's a lot of people, I guess the no nonsense people, are on the daily chart. Well, we're waiting on the daily chart. Okay, could you just leave the Discord? We're done fighting. It's not a fight, dude. You're nuts. Okay. Oh, this thing bought. I'll get bought a 10k. A oh, nice trade. So finally, the fucking gridmaster put a trade on. Cool. I'm into this trade. I like it. I cash out just above this wick. I can already tell you where I'd start going short. Or, you know, every one man's, uh, the, the sellers are going to be above here, so I should get out of that 10K. If I feel um, like, oh, that, that's good, you know. I wish I was in a standard lot there because, you know, that'd be a lot of chunk of money. So if the, the end size for me is going to be uh, 50 to... 100 tickets a day. Rolling over 50 uh, tickets maybe every four hours, depending on how fast the market's going. So if it's zooming up, I'm probably, if, if, if you see the market going up, I'm cashing out along the way, and I've got some really greedy targets blended in with some really uh, just scalps. So make, make, trying to make... Uh, 12 pips, 14 pips, 28, 40, 60, 100, 150. So about 75 pips stop in my in my arsenal, my uh, gig bag there, because I'm able to, if it's a, a grandiose move, which is at 20% of the time, you kind of have to have that that really long range plan because the short game is very uh i guess it's just like uh, golf right you drive the ball you get on the green near the green and then you're on the green it might be two shots on the green uh, but you got you got there now you could totally lose the game dicking around on the on the green so that's the hard part but they're both difficult, right? It's hard to hold a large position on the long game for most people. And most people have the typical uh, pain, I suppose. So right, this smashing down here, I'd be buying that. I'd rebuy below here, and I'd also be buying because it's down on the 15th, so hard to be like, oh, yeah, let's buy that. We just took out this wick, this lonely wick. Yeah, fucking buy that. That's if I'm sitting here and it's happening. If I'm not, 
I'd be like, okay, you know, I'm still in this position. It's not too big. And I think we could go uh, up to here again to the top of the box when we took out this. And I'll just cash out here uh, into the Asian session. I'll just hold this. And actually, I'm going to reload the wagon and actually buy a, a, a just a mint. If it gets below here and it gets into this pocket, I'm just letting this uh, thing pick out the pockets. But this would matter too. This would be the most mattering thing. This matters forward. Once that's wiped out, in my opinion, there's no pivot that's carried into the future. You may fucking think it is, but no more than these 25 pip grid hash marks on this chart. So that's another bullshit thing that people talk about. That's really like saying that, oh, there's a destiny in life. Oh, you can't direct what's going to happen to you. The fuck you can't. Every millisecond I can say fuck, fuck, fuck you instead of fuck you. So how, did, the, did, the, did the AI see that coming? So fuck that, right? And uh, they're not, they're letting me say fuck a lot on this YouTube, I noticed. Because if you say it just to be fuck, you know, fuck it. If you're really kind of sloppy, and maybe I should find the Asian fuck name, how to say it properly. But the 15 minute chart is the ultimate chart, I think, because it encompasses, I can bracket it off with these blocks, filter out, always see the larger picture. Yeah, you took out the lows from this, or you can make these all, you can make it eight hour blocks, you know? You have three, and you can see the eight-hour tickets, and you could get organized. The only reason I chopped this off and made this start at 7 p.m. is because it just took out this bullshit. Because the spread is so fucking wide here on this broker in the real world, on an on a ECM broker without a fixed spread. Right, so getting rid of this garbage. Because we just bracket off this, and then we know what the story is. And this is a good scalp. Probably would have... Uh, I probably want to take something off the table here, maybe. Or just say, you know what? Let's just rebuild here, hold it. When it gets to here, we'll dump the whole fucking thing as we come into uh, Asia. Look at this thing drive north. I don't want to have my, I don't want a sell bot trying to sell that 15 minute rally, really, because then it gets too complex. Now you, now you get too much commissions, too much spread. I'll speed it up to the maxo speedo to take us into Asia. Let's see how we finish out there. Okay, so now it's probably going to take out the low of this day. It typically does in Asia. It takes out the low the previous day. If it's near that, if it's near, it closes near that day. I hate to say there's a rule of thumb, but if you close near that day, it typically will punch into it. Right, so it's a hard down day, and it's a real auction day wrap around because you took out this, and then you and then you went down and crushed this. So it's bookends, but now you're probably going to go into the into the deep part here, punch through here now. Let's see if we if we get that punch through. Not quite. Not yet. Still sitting there. So the pennings, I'll let those sit there. Okay, just nicked it. So here's one of these things where people talk about this trade. Well, dude, I got a $40 million position right here. I waited 15-minute close below there. The AI got me at the 25-yard line and fucking pulled that shit off at 25 pips. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I just can't imagine doing it. So my view is, if I built a position here and I added just a skosh more down here and I saw that, yeah, I'd add to that. I'd be holding everything that I gobbled up here. And then when it started in golf, I'd be like, yeah. And when it starts to tag these, it will be cashing out. It will pull back off of these wick tops. Big, big uh, cleft here. And then that tall ass, and here's the wedge again. So if we ever get back to here, can you only imagine how violent it's going to be up here? And the sellers are coming in. So you could be like, I'm out. That's the trade. I risked a million dollars to make 30 pips. I got myself in a five-pip stop to make 30 pips on a $40 million position. Right. I don't think there's a guy out in the, in the world that's doing that trade over and over again. Like, you'd have to, this is it. Oh, I did the trade here. But they stopped me out, see? This is like the perfect like little slice of Nick the Wick. 
And that's where people really get frustrated and be like, damn, I have cell stops in here. I was trying to be a good goober. What'd you do, son? Well, I went to no nonsense because, you know, I'm sick of this nonsense trading. Go watch No Nonsense Forex. You just crack up. It's a laugh fucking riot. Um, but, uh, yeah, that No Nonsense trade me how to trade. Dude, I have, I have a trading coach. What's his name? No Nonsense. NN Trading. And he had all these these goobers that were like, we love you, man. Bless your heart. And bless his heart. The guy's fucking evil. Define evil. Um, just annoying. Oh, I don't trade. He doesn't trade reversals. Right there, you just want to punch him. I've been selling everything above here, son. It's a no-brainer. You don't need a brain. If you only had a brain. Come here, no-nonsense. Come here, you. All right, we're selling in that box. Look at that beautiful. Oh, scalped out. See? Oh, nice scalp, son. Another million-dollar trade. Oh, better get out. Oh, ooh. Beautiful. Right up in that res right up in that resistance. Oh, that's fucking beautiful. Love that shit. What do we got here, son? Oh, buy buying again. Oh, buying again, are you? Now you could be short off of that. Just imagine that. You bought down here a million dollars that you didn't get out. You didn't think to get out where you would get in on the other side of that trade. I'm aware of the sellers. I'm not a seller up there typically because I'm like, holy shit, that thing's on fire. I would be selling here though. I'd start my selling here, but Eh, betting on it, turning around on that thing, that's eh, a little bit much. I like this, come back to the pivot, come back to uh, top, become a bottom here. Comes back in, a little deeper dip. Let's see where this one takes us. All aboard the fucking 15-minute train, people. Kabanga. We're short of that. We want to buy below, guess where? Always want to be buying new lows. Where where uh, no nonsense has a sell stop down here, and he, just to make sure he put a buy stop here to protect himself, he lost that whole window. I remember that first trading book I read where they said do that entry. What you want to do here is count. Even the Albert Brooks thing is doing that. He starts off with that. Well, you know what you want to do here is put a buy stop in. Why? Get used to losing your ass, dude. Get used to fucking being like that. Oh, that didn't. Oof. What's with this, like, the bumpers? I would never take my kid bowling. You know what bowling is? Bowling alleys? They still bowl, right? As they came out with a new ball, ball I just saw. It was like a hyperspace fucking surface on it. But, you know, if you go out to a kid with a ball, put bumpers? No, kid. Fucking go get that. In fact, crawl out there and get the ball. I'll teach you. What's this pussy fucking lifestyle people have? Well, my kid, oh, I, I I did all his homework for him. Fuck, why don't you just put his brain on a fucking smoother, right? You just take his brain out, polish it up, and make it even smoother. Didn't think of that. Bless your heart for your help. I appreciate your insight into the world of uh, child dynamics. Look at the fucking stuff they've come up with so far. And all the buzzword phrases and all. I'm sorry you feel that way. We call that client satisfaction rating. Everything's got like three letters to it, you know? I'm like, well, can I get the fucking Bible on that one? Where's the... Uh, fuck the Bible. Give me the descriptors on all this shit. Where's the schematic for life? Step one, um, try not to get angry. No, oh, fuck that up. All right, I'm going to go hyperspace. We're buying new laws, right? To look to the left. Oh, we're in. Oh, I love it. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, now this is my favorite trade again. Now, this is tough, and I have to really hold back because I want to pull the trigger here on the 15, and every 15-minute close below, you know, I'm pulling the trigger, right? Boom, boom. Every close down, boom, boom. I'm very intense on it here. If I'm not in on limits and I see that, I'm like, oh, fuck. And you know how much we're going to buy below here? This is going to be like, better take out a loan on your, take your kid's college fund and liquidate it because you're going to be buying down here. Like, And this is where the expiration of the tickets comes in very critical in the robot. 
if the robot's throwing tickets out in front of the market because it sees this, not only is it buying at the market, it's throwing limits out in front. The expiration has to be only at one hour. If it extends too long in that one particular robot, it's going to be a problem. In that scheme, it's going to be a real problem. So we want to tailor that out so it's a perfect fit. We curve fit into the market. Okay, we've got hyperspace. And let's let it rip there. Okay, we, we definitely had a scalp out of something on that one. Kind of made it back to the floor almost, not exactly. Uh, not quite uh, to the floor. But maybe in the next uh, hour. Nope, buying, I'm buying more now. So I'm really loading the wagon here because we just took out European low. And I'm all in now. And I'm down, I'm in hard under these uh, hard 15s now we're buying. And we really bought a ton right there. Like I said, if it takes this out, there's, I'm, I'm, I'm going to sell, I'll put a lien on it at my house. All right. We'll get a second mortgage right there. Oh, yes. But no, I'm pretty heavily loaded. We had, we didn't take it out though. I miscued that here. It's got to be right down here. So we have not taken Nick that week, but if we do, holy God. This is British Pound. British Pound is very rough. But we would have scalped something to the floor, right? In the 25 pip targets, we nailed it. We bought into it. We bought at the market. We bought at the market. We dump. You got to do that trade because you'll never survive when you see the playback of the machine blowing itself up. It's because it never fucking scalped along the way. It's really important to take something because it's constantly churning 80% bullshit sideways. So you have to not only trade that 80% window in some regard, maybe 50% of the time, right? But they got to do something. I got to do something. You could sit back and do no nonsense breakouts, and you would have been right in this trade. You put your goober sell stop in. Look, I'm short. Look at me. I took so I took half off. Let the rest go. I got a new signal to go short. And I'm short again. Okay, so you sold here and you sold here. Well, of course, I, I'm not a risk taker like you. I don't. I don't try to predict where it's going to turn around like you. We like to get along here. We're not contrarians. We like to, you know, have a seat. Go, go to the. Uh, and then they have this thing where you go to these Discord things and you're like, yeah, you know what? You're just not authorized to come into this room. This is for special people. Well, fuck you. And it's just like the guy that wrote the program is fucking. Now that's, there's something happened. He fell on his head or something. It's not object oriented. I cannot customize this. It's not like samplitude. It's not like you can just. That was the good thing about Windows is you could drag anything and put it where you want. There's no template. It's open. But uh, the problem with Discord is that uh, it's so comp complicated. They've got it like, um, well, are you a character? Or are you over here? And then, and then what, what channel are you on? Dude, and then, and then they, they say, oh, well, you've got to be like uh, double certified uh, platinum to get into this room. Or even get on the discord and i think that's what they call discord i think i figured it fucking out the first time i'm like yeah that's what it's about discord i'm like how many people have committed suicide with that thing forget tiktok you think that's a threat why is anybody talking about how bad discord is it's like and then they want to you want to upgrade to like see, dude i can barely run it i can barely figure out what's going on right now don't you want some fancy little doodads and wingadings and snow on your fucking fake lawn? People's heads have exploded. Let's just show you how wealthy people are. They have digital pets. Well, some computer. Well, I guess I'm friends with my computer. But we I don't expect much of it. Okay, so I'm in hyperspeed now. Oh, we're getting mega filled. Here's where the second mortgage I took out on the house right there. And you know how much you're going to buy here? I, I don't even want to talk about it. My neighbors will find out. But right here, I'll be like, I'm going to steal my neighbor's car. I'll say, I'm going to give you back a better one. 
forks. I'm going to go into a forex trade on the British pound. Have you seen the 15-minute chart? This is a no-brainer. I'll buy a 100-pip window. I will really do that trade. 100-pip window to me is acceptable swing entry uh, five standard lots. That would be my max on that. All sorts of tickets, but I'm going to roll over a standard lot every now and then and cash out, take, uh, you know, 200 bucks off the table, 400 bucks, and churn the thing down there. Because I'm in for the big, the long haul there. So I'm an investor in that sense. But think about it. It's like doubling down on a, on a, um, a, a uh, government subsidized electric car. Yeah, it's all, you know, wait wait till the bottom drops out. Just come gobble the shit up for fucking pennies on the dollar. Hey, you want an electric car to uh, drive around the grocery store with your mask on? Because, you know, there's so much soot coming out of that fucking, uh, the brake shoes on that as you try to keep from running over, not running over grandma. Oh, let's see how it worked out here. Oh, we scalped to the floor. Hello. Okay, so I sit back and I like these trades because I can relax. We bought more. We just bet. So we just bet. We got filled. We bet the ranch there. See how we 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 just got the second mortgage. Here's the third mortgage right down here. Oh shit! I damn it! I, fuck! I had the wrong button. But we see we bought here. See we scalped out to the floor. It's fucked because I accidentally hit skip to the end or something. Um, I just went to, uh, I just fucked it up. Let's see if they'll let me scr scrunch out on that. I was going to walk through that, but it just kind of, uh, oops. No, I don't think I can see it. Wait. Oof. Oh, fuck. Anyways, you see what I'm saying? So it made, it made, uh, the robot made money on that. Okay, sorry about that. See this big ass trade here? It's a 15 minute chart. Four standard lots. So it's just buying the plunge. And anyways, you see what I was saying there though. Um, find a range. For me, I find a range, lay track, uh, put my minefield of tickets in, and just case hurrah, hurrah, and that is it. 